Well, hey, welcome to my channel, and um, let's get right into it because uh, we've got a, a, a lot to discuss. What I have here in my hands on my workbench is um, HydroLevel's latest version of their VXT. And here's the package it comes in. As always, this is date coded uh, May of, of uh, 20. 21 and um, this uh, update applies to uh, I guess anything after uh, April of 2021 um, one of the nice things about uh, hydro level by the way I want to mention is their date codes are clearly stamped uh, it's not like some uh, state secret or something uh, it's a clear honest date code on all of their products which I really appreciate so let's get right into it you open up the box, and as always, you're going to find adapters uh, for uh, hooking this up to copper pipe. This is half-inch sweat by um, 3 8 um, male adapter, iron pipe male adapter. And there I think you can get a glimpse of the, the new valve there. Let's take this out. There's the instructions and the um, card for recording um, or in inventorying, uh, uh, keeping track of its use and service tag. We'll get into that a little later. So one of the um, otherwise excellent VXT with its uh, display um, telling you how much, uh, uh, how often this is fed and um, keeping track of leaks and so forth. The heart of the unit is uh, the valve, but the valve was fixed. And normally it goes from uh, right to left and you can rotate this uh, within uh, limitations but it was kind of fiddly taking this apart I have videos um, showing that but that usually is uh, something some people just didn't want to uh, attempt and I get that um, so this has the same form factor uh, that they've been using for over 30 years And there she is, same overall uh, relation uh, as their older models. And I've seen these things when people try to install them. They install them upside down and um, sideways and so forth, which then, of course, reduces its effectiveness because you can't read the uh, display. I've seen them put backwards where the display is against the wall, stuff like that. Um, the idea is you got to you got to be able to uh, have access to the display and access to uh, the superior adjustment that the VXT um, allows over the uh, um, competitor. And there again is the uh, uh, clear clear stamped date code so you know what you're dealing with as far as age is concerned. Um, so now the big news is that this valve is now adjustable fully. I'll show you how to do that. You've got two Phillips head screws there now and you want to loosen them so that this is flush because otherwise it'll catch the uh, it'll catch the valve when it when it moves. I'll show you that. So you take this down and you don't want to back it out too far because you don't want to lose these um, clipped washers. But that's as far as you want to back it out, just like that. And then now this is infinitely adjustable. Left to right, right to left, down or up if you really need to. But say your piping isn't um, exactly level, it doesn't matter. You can get this 
level in any way. So that is fantastic. And then once you get it into the position you want, you just uh, dog it down. And then you want to make sure that this is that's that can be that can move and slide about. You want to make sure that that is uh, not blocking the view, and you want to make sure that this is um, pushed all the way down onto the uh, the unit. Um, so. These screws here are uh, 1024 by uh, 3 8 uh, Phillips um, uh, round head, but this clip here is OEM, so you definitely don't want to lose it. Uh, if you, you might be able to work something out in the field, but that'd be just a, a, a pain, pain in the butt. Um, so let's see. Um, again, this is showing the old design uh, fixed to the bracket, and then this holds the, um, it was clamped to there, and this is the new design. It's the they've gone back to the future to the um, the S45, and um, this valve has been around for over 30 years. Um, it's one of my own. My only complaint about it is that you can't get uh, rebuild parts for it because it was passed around as a commodity to uh, with other uh, manufacturers currently Robert Shaw runs it and Robert, to Robert Shaw's credit uh, they helped um, build this um, so that it was they can market it to um, hydro level now you can I have experimented that uh, one of the things uh, one of the maintenance things that you might run into in a couple of years is you got to replace the uh, the rubber gasket because uh, it does calcify up uh, over time. And if these, so you can see, and there's a little tiny little hole right there, and if that you got two of them right there, and if both of them become clogged, then this thing will. Um, stick open and not cycle closed. So you want to be able to replace this, service this. Um, the rubber does degrade. Um, this kit here is for the old uh, DEMA 443 valve, but I have done experiments out in the field and it will fit the, uh, it's a direct clone. This is much more readily available. Uh, I think you can get it through Clean Right, which is a um, uh, automobile uh, washing uh, service uh, supply company and they sell these uh, they're fairly inexpensive I don't know about the spring and the plunger but I do know the gasket works in both both of these valves so um, they've also gone to great lengths to uh, make the strainer easier to uh, maintain a uh, three-quarter inch box wrench makes quick work of getting this apart and can take out the the strainer you take this cover off the uh, this will this is a very efficient strainer uh, less likely to uh, uh, let stuff go by and I guess a weakness would be this uh, gasket here, which is made of uh, clear plastic, which I'm going to guess is uh, polyethylene trithalglate, which might be brittle and might crack over time. So you don't want to crank on this because um, it's going to be difficult to get uh, out of that situation. So I'm hoping that uh, 
that, that my my fears prove groundless on that. We'll have to see. But I wouldn't I wouldn't crank on that any more than to uh, stop stop the leak. Um, as I said, the electronics are the same. So you want to have that right up against there like that, and. We'll wire this up. Now, when you see the two, when you first uh, get this out of the box, you'll see the two, which is an indication that it's gone through its testing uh, at the factory. And there you go. So you want to make sure that that is tight up against there and doesn't wander off. You want, and that'll that'll uh, keep that quiet. And let's see what else we got here. So let's see. Da, 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 electronics. The electronics, as I said, is, is robust. Um, and there's what you want to do is you make sure that this tag is available and you mark the uh, date when you installed it and you want to keep track of when you service the unit, uh, if you reset it, you want to make sure you reset it. You want to um, check off the various uh, procedures, and that way you can track how much water you're losing. And so the less water the system uses, the longer this is going to last, and more importantly, the longer your boiler is going to last. Instructions that come with it are very clear, well written, um, and they've outlined their uh, really important issues in blue, which is very nice. Uh, they've got a lot of good uh, details showing all of the um, advantages and then proper setup. Uh, this is fairly new here. They've uh, put these are a little dark, but they serve their they serve the purpose. And so with the uh, price point of the competition, I would recommend that um, this be installed uh, because now you can rotate this in any direction. You can then remove the old uh, older device and install this because the uh, competition uh, goes from uh, left to right and their valve is designed not to be serviced. Um, it, you have to, they're, they're, they design it to replace the whole thing. This is serviceable in the field with the correct parts and components. Um, so that should do it. And I really thank you very much. And I uh, hope that uh, this is very helpful. Thanks.